Alrighty ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today along with my son. Nathaniel. Nathaniel, he's doing the camera work today, guys. We are on the road today. We're headed to a little town called Waxhaw, where our machinist is. They've done the work on the uh, Ford Ranger engine and talked to the guy today. He said the engine's ready. So we're gonna ride down there and pick it up. This will be the first time Nathaniel visits a machine shop and uh, it ought to be an experience for, for him. And we're gonna get that new engine, bring it back to the house, and we'll be making plenty of videos on the assembly of the 2.5 liter Ford engine. So stay tuned guys, and we'll show you what this engine looks like here in a little bit. All right guys, we're back home now from the machine shop. We got all our parts here. We got our cylinder head here. Uh, they cleaned it. Actually, uh, had to get a core head for this thing. The thing had uh, some cracks in the combustion chamber. And so we got our core head with our cam. We got brand new lifters and everything here. Brand new cam bearings. Here's our block. It got board 20. It's wrapped up in some plastic. Here's all our parts. We got all our parts that we need. New oil pump. Lots of new goodies down here. We got our pistons and rods right here. It's hard to tell, but we're gonna get all this stuff out of here, and then we'll uh, we'll give you the breakdown on it. So uh, Nathaniel, tell the good people what you think, buddy. Oh yeah. What do you think about visiting a machine shop? Oh, it's oh it's awesome. Was huh? it pretty awesome? Was there a lot of parts down there? Yeah. A lot, a lot of blocks and cylinder heads and everything, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. Awesome. Okay, folks, hey, we got everything in the shop now. Uh, you bring the camera down here and thing, and we'll tell everybody what we got here. Um, over here, we have our cylinder head. Now, I don't remember if I remember telling you guys or not that our other head had cracks in it. We actually have it here. We brought it back from the machine shop. It's on the floor. Had cracks in cylinder two and three combustion chamber from overheating it. Uh, he found me a core head and the only difference in it is um, where the thermostat housing is, it's eight millimeter threads instead of six millimeter. But uh, we're gonna do a, um, like a helicoil repair on that to um, make those where they're six millimeter. Or I guess we could buy a new thermostat housing. But regardless, we're gonna deal with it. We got, um, the head's been machined. It's got new lifters in it, new cam bearings and everything. So we're good to go. Crankshaft right here has been turned no no i'm sorry it has not been turned it just all it had to do was be polished okay so it's been polished ready to go uh we got new pistons it was bored 20 over okay we got new pistons pressed on our rods ready to go we have all our parts from our engine kit here this is probably oil pan and head gasket set we have uh, probably the main bearings right here a set of rings and it looks like they're 20 over we got a set of rod bearings. We got a new timing belt and a new water pump that comes with the kit as well. And over here we have our block. Here's our block and it's bored 20. I'm getting ready to uh, put another coat of oil inside these cylinder walls right quick. While we're out here, I'll tell you what, thing if you'll back up just a minute, we'll show the good folks uh, what we're doing here. We're just gonna take a clean rag and there's a little bit of motor oil left in this uh, container right here that we had left over from some oil change. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna fold the rag up like so. And we're gonna pour some motor oil on here. There we go, just like so on our clean rag, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and uh, run these inside each cylinder, okay? And that's all we wanna do to kind of protect it till we get a chance to get out here and work on this thing. And we're just gonna put a, another generous coat of oil in these cylinders just a thin coat until we get a chance to clean this block we're going to actually soap and water it with dawn dishwashing detergent clean it up real good and uh we'll show you that in future videos we're gonna uh, show a total rebuild of this engine from this point all the way till we build it and put it in the vehicle and thereafter until we get it running again so guys, if you ever have to do one of this, you're gonna have several how-to videos here to follow along. Thank you guys for 
checking out the video today, the trip to the machine shop. Um, it was a long trip down to the little town of Waxhaw from where we are. But what'd you think, Nathaniel? Did you, pretty cool? Yeah. Yeah, pretty cool place. The guy, they do a lot of race car engines and stuff and they had small block Chevy heads laying everywhere, big block Chevy stuff. And we even saw some Chrysler stuff there as well. And uh, a lot of heads, a lot of blocks. But anyway, it's pretty cool to go down there and check it out. Glad they had time to do our little motor for us. And we're looking forward to getting this thing back on the road. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you soon, guys. Take care.